guys, it's Rhiannon from RMH Art. Thank you so much for tuning in to another speed painting of mine. I really hope you guys like this piece. Uh, I was super, super proud of this piece when I done it. I did complete this one uh, a couple of months ago, but I haven't put the speed painting up. Um, and the reason I'm like so proud of this piece and the other three pieces that are in uh, this little mini mini collection is uh, because of all the different materials that were used in it to create such different textures and just different effects within the painting um, which is what I was really aiming for when I first started uh, painting these four pieces. I really wanted to make uh, a really abstract and just really different and just try and push myself um, just trying to get more abstract and yeah just have a lot of fun and I'm super happy with how they turned out uh, so within the piece uh, from the intro which I really hope you guys like the intro I had a lot of fun making it um, I'd love to know what you guys thought was it a bit too long or yeah uh, I know I get really excited like when I make something like that but as someone that's watching it sometimes you just don't know if people are gonna like it or if they're not but so yeah I did use uh, spray paint palette knives uh, paint brushes and uh, my catalyst wedge uh, so to get a bunch of the different effects within this piece and within the other pieces that I made within this little collection uh, If you guys want me to make a video on the different uh, Ways in which I use like say the spray paint tin to get different effects or the palette knife or anything like that uh, Please let me know because I would love to do a video on that if you guys are interested uh, So yeah, just comment below and let me know and yeah, so uh, within this piece, uh, the same as uh, the way I approach uh, a lot of my pieces is I make a guideline as to where the main shapes are, like the heads, the shoulders, that sort of thing. And it is just the guideline, it's nothing um, too rigid as I just constantly mould the piece as I keep going. Uh, I don't actually, as you'll see in the video, like put in details uh, until the last, the last uh, end of the painting. It's not uh, something that I do with my paintings, I just sort of make like a basic outline where I think everything's gonna go and just keep working in from there and just keep molding. And especially with these uh, four pieces that I did, and um, this is the first one that I did within the little collection, um, is I was really not after trying to get details in, which is why it, t it seems to take quite a lot um, for it to come together, is I really wanted to push those textures and push layers and just sort of just keep building those layers to make more, something that's more interesting to the eye and just I didn't want it to be so opaque and you know very flat I wanted there to be like when you look at the piece and you see a layer you can see like specks of like another layer or something uh, behind that paint where it's more interesting to look at and yeah I think um, it worked out quite well and I can hear my little baby crying in the background I just had a baby um, my partner is gonna grab him <laughs> but yeah so uh, where was I mum brain he's got me off track yeah, so uh, I did use, um, yeah, as I said, all these different um, tools to get the painting to where I wanted it to be. I really had no idea how it was going to turn out, and that's what I love about just um, sitting down with a canvas sometimes, especially when you're feeling right, super inspired or to do any art piece, is you really don't know, like, oh, this is... Uh, the way I feel when I sit down for a cam uh, to paint uh, to make something, I never know what it's going to turn out like. I know a lot of artists like really plan and really construct what they're going to do before they sit down to paint um, or create. I am so not like that. Uh, I really like just going in there like a bull in a china shop and just having a go and just playing around with the painting and let the painting sort of like just come out and for me to like feel my way around and pull the painting out and to make it uh, into the piece that it is in the end. And I really got really hope you guys like um, the way it turned out in the end I really am so proud of this piece I really do love it I was really quite surprised um, I've sold uh, quite a few prints of these four pieces but I haven't actually sold this original which is nuts to me because it's uh, my favorite uh, piece out of the four but it's it's funny like you can never pick it and I don't know if you guys find this as well if you guys sell art but you can never pick which piece will go um, and which piece will hang around for a bit longer and yeah this piece um, even though it's my favorite out of the four it's definitely uh, been yeah been quite a while although my art shop is shut so <laughs> bit hard to sell something when your art shop shut <laughs> so yes and something that I did with these pieces was I stuck to a theme so I wanted to use these blue colors and with pops of orange and there's a little bit of um, what is that color I think it's burgundy or red violet I'm not sure 
but yeah so I really wanted to have like these little hints of color which really bring out the piece as well so it's not just all blue there is um, other colors to break up the piece as well and I think this is really important as well to make something that's visually uh, pleasing uh, so I really 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 hope you guys like this piece so some ways that I use uh, the tools that I did to get different effects in this painting is the spray paint tin um, I love myself some spray paint uh, to sort of make the background disappear a bit with the white um, over the mum gorilla's head like to put some of the her head in the background and also I love to use it to make drips or just really cool effects by like spraying it on the canvas and then like dragging the tin over the top and then flicking the paint around which you'll see me do in this video quite a fair bit and then something else that I did within this painting with a catalyst wedge was I made these little uh, I don't even know what you call them but just like little lines they're sort of like little triangles um, just because I really wanted to push this piece and just have so much in there um, but have the center point where the two faces are to be quite like within focus and so you can you know there's quite a lot of detail even though it's still my style where it's not always oh it's not ever realistic um but there's a lot going on and then as you your eyes are drawn out to the ends of the canvases um it's quite abstract and quite um not quite there i don't really know if i'm explaining this very well i'm kind of half like wigging out because um he was just crying, yeah, my little bub, and but my partner just grabbed him. <laughs> oh, again. And so, um, and something I really wanted to mention uh, as well is if you guys, um, so I have no idea uh, if everyone is a professional artist that's watching this or like what stage you are in your art career, but uh, as you will have seen at the start, like the brushes that I use, um, they're quite frayed, they're old, um, and majority of them are quite cheap brushes and a lot of artists probably don't like this but in all honesty like I love using cheap brushes uh, not if the bristles are going to fall out when you're painting but because they do fray so easily and they do sort of they don't hold their shape very well and not for long anyway I love this because it just it just makes some really cool textures and you can get some really cool effects and when you put down that layer of paint like it's not just a stiff rigid line it's just a bit everywhere and I really love this I do have some brushes that you will also seen uh, in the intro that are more fine pointed um, and smaller brushes and that as well for finer details but I really do love um, the larger brushes because they just help keep the painting uh, have in like, help to keep the painting have energy and a bit of movement and also just break up the stiff rigid lines in that um, which I found in a lot of my earlier work I was very rigid and I really feel like I'm not talking very good right now I just I don't know I just my brain is here but it's also one ear is like listening out but yeah so I'd really love to know what you guys think about this piece and if you guys have used like any of like the tools that I was talking about like obviously you would have used probably like a paintbrush and I don't know like the catalyst wedge and that I was really excited when I first bought that like this is something I was so fine too and I don't know if you guys do this as well but as soon as you get like a new tool or like a new brush or a new color or just like I say a spray paint like well, I remember when I first bought my first tin of spray paint I was like ecstatic or like if I buy say a new color in a spray paint tin or something like that I am just like beyond excited like I need to get home and I need to paint now and just to use that color and I don't know it just like gives me so much um, inspiration just <laughs> looking at like a new tin of paint or something like that like it's nuts I just get so excited but yeah, so like a lot of my work lately, not that I've been painting a lot lately because I had a baby, but probably like the last um, like four months has been incorporating blue. And there's a really funny story behind that is like, actually it would have been longer than that. Oh wow. But yeah, so I always thought my baby was going to be a girl and then about a week, probably oh, half a week before I found out the gender, I started making these uh, animal pieces uh, in this little mini collection and I just, I had to use blue. I was obsessed with blue. All of a sudden I got really obsessed with blue and I was like, no, nah, Bubs is a boy. I just had a feeling and yet, yeah, turns out he's a boy. <laughs> and yeah, and I've been really obsessed with blue since, I don't know if it's because um, my little man is a boy or if it's just, I'm, I don't know, I'm really drawn to blue and yeah, I'm just really loving blue at the moment. Even in the watercolor pieces uh, that I've been doing lately, I've been using a lot of blue. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm really hoping to sort of get more into art, uh, although after today and like 
yesterday like <laughs> I did not get much time to do anything I've managed to like uh, edit and do the this video today so yeah that's like a win but yeah little man has not wanted to settle at all so yeah it will be interesting to see how much art I can actually fit in uh, over the next few months but yeah so anyway I'm gonna stop rambling uh, I really hope you guys like this video if you did uh, please click that like button because it really does help support my channel as it's super super small and any support you guys can give by like watching or liking or commenting it really does help my channel um, as I put a lot of time and effort into these videos which I love them anyway but yeah I hope you guys uh, enjoy them as well so yeah uh, I shall see you guys in the next video next Friday every Friday I'm back to normal uploads which is every Friday and yeah so if you guys want to see a certain type of video or anything like that uh, feel free to let me know and yeah I shall see you guys in the next video bye